All right, so I got a comment about how to adjust uh, your universal offset for Mania. And this will apply for all rhythm games, by the way. It's a simple method, but you need to have a kind of trained ear to know when your key sounds are right. So the method I'll be teaching today would be how to set your offset to your key tap sounds. Basically, the sound of the song goes with the time your keyboard makes the sound when you press it. For some reason, depending on how engines work and all that, there's always delay between the sound of your key tap versus what's going on in the game. Some optimized engines will have your offset at zero and it will go exactly with your key tap sound, just like the Taiko no Tatsujin arcade cabinets, where the drumstick sound goes exactly with the arcade music. But for some reason on games on PC, like Osu and the rest, their offset is always not there. I think it has to do with the audio engine and stuff like that. Because if you think about it, when you press down a button, the sound happens almost instantly along with your input. But for some reason, I guess how the game handles the inputs, it's always later for some reason. I, I, I can't, it's hard to explain it. It basically but yeah just remember that your offset should always be later than the actual offset if you are following your key tap sounds so let's get right into setting your offset all right so the first things first you got to set your effect volume to the bottom because you're not going to use the effect sound at all since we're listening to the key tabs instead of hit sounds usually what i do is that i test offset using taiko because taiko is easier for me to test offset compared to mania but i'll try doing a mania this time i lost all my maps so i'm just going to go for i just gonna have to re-download a map Right now I'm on zero offset and yeah, I also really highly recommend you like take apart one part of your headphones, like just listen to one side only or set the music quiet enough that you can hear your key taps because you need to be able to hear key taps. I don't really recommend going for really difficult difficulties because to me hearing so many key sounds makes it hard to hear what the beat is, especially when there's so many things going on. So I recommend going for something easier so they can kind of roughly hear what's happening. Ignore what's happening on the screen. Just tap according to how you think it should sound according to the music. I really highly recommend turning on your hit error bar so you can see if you're hitting too early or too late. And I can see that I'm hitting too late. So what I do is restart the map and maybe add like 20 offset and see if it changes anything. I'm still hitting very late, so I'm going to increase this to 40. Still hitting late, so I increase this to 60. I'm still hitting slightly late, but I'm very close to where it should be. So I'll try changing to 65 and let's see how it is. Okay, maybe from the first part, I think maybe it should be 67. Look at your offset bar and you try to roughly gauge like how much you should add. If you see that it's really far off, try adding plus 10, plus 20. If it's very small, plus 5. If it's even smaller, try going plus 2, plus 1. If you want to add increment of 1, just hold out and then the plus or minus key. That's basically it. Uh, when it comes to beat maps, when you see yourself hitting early or later based on your hit error bar, 
you adjust your offset accordingly. So this is local map offset. So my keyboard right now is on plus 67. So it means I'm hitting 67 milliseconds later. But you want to change the universal offset because this is this delay is consistent for all songs. So what we do is that we go to settings, universal offset, and we change it to minus 67. This should be the correct offset. The reason why we go minus in the offset adjustment is because that's just how Osu works for some reason. I mean, um, it's flipped from the local offset to the universal offset. Minus in the universal offset means you're hitting too late. But on the local offset, plus means you're hitting too late. It's, it's weird. So let's test on Taiko and see if it makes, if it's any different. If it should be correct on Taiko as well. Okay, for Taiko, it looks like I'm still hitting a bit late. So I'm just going to change my offset to maybe 4ms and let's see if it helps. Still hitting a little late, so maybe another 2ms. Alright, it looks like my offset is now perfect. So local beat my offset was plus six. So it means for my universal offset, I need to add uh need to minus another six. So minus sixty seven minus six would be minus seventy three, and that will be my final offset. And that's how you set your universal offset in Osu. Personally, I prefer using Taiko to test the input sounds for offset because for Taiko you only press one key at a time, which is I think it's a good thing. It makes the timing a lot easier since you only hear one sound at a time, unless you're doing triples or patterns. Unlike Mania, where there's things like chords and and just a lot of stairs depending on what you're playing and the whole notes the whole notes is what messes me up a lot so if you can try playing taiko i recommend you try taiko uh, especially the muzukashi difficulties but it might be too difficult for you so if anything try playing something easier but also follows the music for mania or taiko and slowly adjust your offset based on the timing always listen to the sound of your key taps to the music don't care about what's happening on screen don't care if you're hitting all the hundreds or all your accuracy is complete trash it just shows what offset you should set and that's all